welcome to Tool Tuesday. Let's see what mom's working with today. Hello, welcome back to Tool Tuesday. And today we've got one that is actually a tool that you can replicate. Um, it doesn't have to be as fancy as this. A gentleman made this and for us, and um, he sold a few others too. He's now not in business. I mean, he didn't do it for business. He made his wife one. We saw it at a show. He ended up making us one along with a few others. But what this is, is this is a yardage counter or scanner, and it's all in one. And I don't have that tied on, but here's how it works. It's gonna come down, it's gonna go across here. And as you can tell, it has a uh, little arm here that holds my bobbin. There's a tension control right here, which is just a spring, a, some fishing line, honestly, and then um, a little knob. This, the actual counterpart is a hand clicker. So you could actually click things that come through the gate. You see people using them at ball games and all that. Now, how this works is you've got three arms that are about a foot long. And then you've got this arm right here that has two pegs in it that is 14 inches long. So there's two inches difference. When that one comes along, the longer one, it literally scuffs across there and clicks it. This has a two yard, one and a half yard, and a one yard thing. So these can all be moved. And they're just screw in, made with pegs. The one that is longer has a single peg because this is where you tie on. You want to be able to slide that off in order to get your skein off quarterly. And this one becomes the handle. So the base of this is probably, let's just see here, it is 25 inches wide, so about two foot. Um, it's simply, this is mounted to this center piece right here with two bolts back here. And then, of course, the legs are bolted in here. The base of the stand is 35 inches. So this will be 35. Each of these arms is about a foot. If I had to measure the whole thing all the way across, 28 for one and 29 for the other is what it looks like. So I don't think that's right. Yeah, 28 for one. So there's an inch difference. Sorry. 29. So if you wanted to do this, it's just held on with a, a thing here, a little rod that goes through the cotter pin, and it spins. Like I said, you would have to uh, make sure that your posts or handles are out so that you know what size skein you're doing. Then you multiply this. So this is on a two yard skein, so every time it clicks, I times it by two and know my exact yardage. One of the features that I like about this is when I get done, this is on a hinge, so I can just set it aside. That way if I accidentally move this back or forth, it doesn't uh, click the yardage if I'm pulling it this way. Now when you're going this way, if for some reason you have a child, I have lots of kids help me, when it comes back, it just knocks it right out of the way. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. 